Let's discuss the question answers of lesson 3. The question answers are given on page 30. I will be just discussing the questions and the answers. First question, fill in the blanks. Most of the acidic substances are dash in taste. So all acids are sour in taste. So the answer is SOUR sour. Second one, phenolphthalein is dash type of indicator. So phenolphthalein actually is made by man. Man made, uh, it is a man made indicator. So you will write the answer. It is a synthetic type of indicator. Third one, the strength of basic substance is represented by. So as I told in the concept map, the strength of base is represented by POH. P is small and O and H is capital. So POH shows the strength of base. Fourth one, pH scale ranges from dash to dash. So pH scale ranges from 0 to 14. 0 to 7 is acidic, 7 is neutral and from 7 to 14 it is basic. Fifth one, Acids and bases neutralize each other to form dash and dash. Acids and bases neutralize each other to form salt and water. Sixth one, sodium or potassium salts of higher fatty acids are termed as dash. So they are termed as soap. Seven, in FeSO4 7H2O, H2O represents water of crystallization. So 7H2O means water of crystallization. 8th one, 10% NaCl is known as brine. As I said, if I take one spoon of NaCl, put it in 100 ml of water, it forms 10% NaCl. So this is called as brine. Question 2, name the carboxylic acid present in. Now there is a column where you have to fill up. Now the names of the products are given. We have to name which type of acid is present in it. First one, tamarind. In tamarind, tartaric acid is present. In butter, it is butyric acid. In roots of plant valerium, it is valeric acid. V-A-L-E-R-I-C. In lemon, it is citric acid. C-I-T-R-I-C. In milk, it is lactic acid. L-A-C-T-I-C. In orange, it is again citric acid. In red ants, when red ants bite you, which acid is pushed down in your body? It is the formic acid, F-O-R-M-I-C. And honeybee, honeybee produces two types of acids that are phosphoric acid and butyric acid. So these are the acids which are present in such type of um, matter. Question 3. Write short notes on indicators. Now what you should cover in indicators? First definition, what is an indicator? That means indicator is a substance which indicates whether a sample given to us is acidic or basic or neutral. Then you have to give proper examples of natural indicators, olfactory indicators and synthetic indicators with examples. Second one, pH scale. Now here first you have to tell what is a pH scale. The scale which shows the range from 0 to 14 to identify whether a substance is acid or base is a pH scale. P stands for potence and then you can say that 0 to 7 scale is for acidic substances and 7 to 14 scale is for basic substances. You can draw the diagram and show how a pH scale looks like. Third one, water of crystallization. Now what is water of crystallization? The number of water molecules attached with some formula, they are called as water of crystallization. Examples, copper sulphate which is attached with 5H2O, ferrous sulphate which is attached with 7H2O, then Na2CO3 that is the washing powder or sodium carbonate, it is attached with 10H2O. So you can give examples to support your answer. Question number 4, answer the following. How do metal carbonates react with acids? Now metal carbonates, it can be sodium carbonate, it can be sodium bicarbonate, both reacts with acids to form some salt along with the formation of carbon dioxide and water. You can give any example in support of your answer. Question 2 in fourth one, explain in detail about hydronium ion. 
hydronium ion means when the hydrogen ion itself cannot exist it itself cannot show the existence so within the presence of moisture only this hydrogen ion reacts with water that means h h plus reacts with water h plus ion react with water it forms h 3 o and this has is having a positive charge and this type of ion formation is called as hydronium ion and this hydrogen ion concentration can be observed only in the presence of water so if i have hydrogen gas released but and if i try to test it with the litmus paper there will be no change in the litmus paper but if i bring a wet litmus paper near it or if i bring water near it it might change the color and that is how you can see that hydronium ion formation takes place third one what is universal indicator universal indicator is the indicator formed from various types of indicators formed and it is a mixture of different types of indicators it is in the form of strips which are yellow in color they change the color when we dip it in either the acid or the base so this is how in universal indicator works second type of question does magnesium hydroxide react with sodium hydroxide if not why magnesium hydroxide also have oh ion sodium hydroxide also have oh ion so there is equilibrium of oh ions there is no exchange of h and oh ions so therefore they both will not react fourth one state application of baking soda the first you have to write what is baking soda baking soda is nothing but sodium bicarbonate and this sodium bicarbonate is used in the baking industry more for the form for the making of cakes pastries biscuits batter so this all these things are made from baking soda question 5 how do acids and bases react with each other now acids contain more of hydrogen ion and bases contain more of hydroxyl ions so when they react with each other they neutralize each other and when they neutralize each other such type of reaction is known as neutralization reaction so what is the name of the process the name of the process is neutralization reaction and what product is formed product is formed that is what happens when acid and base react with each other acid and base react with each other to form a salt and water and because it forms water it is called as neutralization reaction we have covered the exercise questions of your book let us cover some extra questions also which may help you in cracking the board exams first type of extra question which i am picking up is state two acid base indicators and mention their color change now the acid base indicator synthetic one we can take we can take one example of phenolphthalein one example of methyl orange now phenolphthalein actually is colorless in acidic medium that means if any sample is given and if it doesn't change the color it is colorless and that means it is a acid but if uh, phenolphthalein is put in a base solution it will turn pink in color so this is how phenolphthalein works what happens in methyl orange methyl orange gives orange color in acid so when it is an acidic solution it turns orangish in color and when it is a basic solution it turns yellowish in color so this is the difference and this is the indication given by these two types of synthetic indicators then another question which came in october 2014 exam if ph value of solution a is 8 ph value of solution b is 7 and ph value of solution c is 5.5 then which solution is acidic obviously the ph value which is lowest will be the acidic solution so among all this ph value with 5.5 is lowest so it is acidic in nature which solution is basic so you have to see which time number is more than 7 or which solution is more than 7 so the solution more than 7 is a so the solution a is basic in nature and which solution is neutral so solution b which is having the ph 7 is neutral because it is neither in acidic range or neither in basic nature what is a strong acid or a strong base 
a strong acid is strong when hydrogen ion concentration is more and a strong base is strong when hydroxyl ion concentration is more. This is how we say this is a strong acid and this is a strong base. What is ionization or define ionization? The formation of ions of substances in the presence of water is called ionization. Now if I take NaCl that is the sodium chloride which is a common salt add in water this Na and Cl will dissociate or form ions that means sodium ion and chlorine ion chloride ion and they thus they when they separate into ions this process is called as ionization. How is bleaching powder prepared? So first what is bleaching powder? Calcium oxychloride is bleaching powder. So if we pass chlorine gas over dry calcium hydroxide, it forms a powder which is called as bleaching powder CaOCl2. So what are the property? What is the actual the use of uh, bleaching powder? It is used, as I said, it is used for whitening of clothes. It is used in disinfecting the water. It is used in the bleaching action. So there are the various uses of bleaching powder. Next question, a person has sour taste in mouth and a burning sensation in stomach. What is he suffering from? When he is having a sour taste and a burning sensation, it clearly shows that he is suffering from acidity because he might have eaten very hot food or very spicy food or he might have not eaten for long hours and that is why he is suffering from acidity. Sodium carbonate is used in fire extinguisher. Why? The sodium carbonate gives out large amount of carbon dioxide gas when heated. And this carbon dioxide is a very good fire extinguisher. So when we want to produce more carbon dioxide, sodium carbonate can be used. Then we saw some extra questions along with your exercise questions. And we come to the end of the lesson number 3, acid base chemistry. I hope you have understood the lesson and accordingly, according to the marks distribution, please prepare your lesson well.